this series we're going to call the Herco Advantage. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the myth, what people, the misperception people have about Herco. I want to talk about Herco, the company, who are we today, um, about our technology, and why someone might want to choose Herco when they're buying their next CNC machine tool. The great misperception that most people have when they hear Herco is that it's a great conversational control mounted on a slow piece of iron somewhere in the corner of the tool room. Well, that is no longer the case. Since 1978, when we released our first CNC machine tool, the company has evolved tremendously. Today, Herco has over 50 machine models, and we are participating in every manufacturing area of the market. We've got dedicated five-axis machines, horizontal machining centers. We're just now releasing our first horizontal boring mill. We have very large bridge-style machines, and everywhere from two-axis um, standard two-axis lathes, very large two-axis lathes to live tool machines, some with y-axis and subspindle. Herco is an American company. It's a publicly held company traded on the NASDAQ and our worldwide headquarters is located in Indianapolis, Indiana. However, we have 17 worldwide locations around the world and they're scattered all throughout North America, Europe, and Asia. Herco is also serving and succeeding in all of the toughest manufacturing markets around the world, from aerospace to dye mold, research and development, military defense, you name it. We also have a strong presence in the United States in schools and universities. Places like Notre Dame, Vincennes University, Purdue, they all have Herco machines, as well as some very large companies that, that uh, are known throughout the world. So why Herco? Why would someone choose Herco over another brand of machine when they're buying their next machine tool? In one word, I would have to say it's the control. Since 1968, when this company was founded, we've prided ourselves in trying to create advanced technology, not only within our software and the control, but also in areas of, of the machine tool like motion control. Today, there's not much technology or much innovation that can be brought about in the machine tool itself. The mechanics of every machine tool out there are pretty good. The only area that we have to really improve and the, that we can try to set ourselves apart from the competition is in the area of technology, software control specifically. But we've also done something in the motion control area that we're going to talk about later in another video called Ultimotion. So not only are we trying to make the best, strongest control out there, we're also trying to innovate in areas of the machine tool itself. Of course, as everyone knows, Herco is uh, well known for their conversational control, ease of programming at the shop floor. Um, a machine operator can grab a print, stand at the control, and be able to walk through these screens and very easily, without the use of a CAD CAM system, be able to program on the shop floor. But I think what's most important to take away from Herco is our versatility. Although back in the day, we tried to convert everyone to conversational, especially those that had you know two, two and a half D parts that they were trying to machine. But today we don't care. We do G code just as well or better than anybody else. We have our conversational control that we still say is better than any other conversational control on the market. And we also have the capability of merging those together. So if you're doing some 2D drilling, tapping, or preparation work for a mold, for example, and then you have to call a G-code program into, into play to do your mold because it's a three-dimensional shape that can't be done conversationally, well, we can do that all in one program. And you can also take that NC program, put that with, within conversational patterns and be able to scale mirror image or po position those in multiple different places along the um, part still only by using one g-code program and while we're talking about g-code we are fanic g-code compatible 
So if a customer were to buy a machine because they like the price and the iron that we have to offer, maybe they think they'll never use the conversational control. We can run that customer's existing programs, still offering them the benefit of conversational merge if they want to do that later on. But also, we can, uh, we can perform very well as a standalone G-code machine if that's what the customer truly needs. And being able to run these very large programs with standard features that are not um, watered down on our standard machine and then have to be optioned up, you can see that the control itself is very capable. We have 64 gigabytes of hard drive memory, meaning you can load very large programs into the hard drive. Two gigabytes of RAM, so we can load very large programs all the way into memory be able to edit those programs on the machine. Between our processing speed and our, and our Pentium Intel processors, you can see that we can process these programs very quickly, and our look ahead is better than anybody else out there. Some machines have everywhere from single digit look ahead numbers all the way up to a few hundred blocks. We have a block look ahead. It's a variable system that goes, that will look up to 10,000 blocks ahead depending on what your need is for that particular part. And Windows network capability is also something that is standard on the control, it's not an option. If you want to network your machine into um, your current network, you simply use the Windows networking capabilities that's already on the machine. There's no software necessary to do that.